Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie, otherwise known as The Vintage Academic. I'm a junior transfer student at UC Berkeley studying anthropology with a focus in archaeology and today I have another fashion video for you. Also I apologize for my hair and my appearance, I'm looking a little rough today. So I wanted to make another like fashion video, not entirely vintage but mostly vintage inspired. So today I'm bringing you some outfits that I would wear if campus were open and the pandemic didn't exist. So I have four outfits to share with you guys and let's take it away. So the first outfit is something that I think I would wear if I was going to the anthropology club meetings here at Berkeley. The anthropology club is actually known as the Anthropological Undergraduate Association. So I thought wearing my UC Berkeley anthropology shirt with a little collar tucked underneath and my yellow skirt that goes with all of my Berkeley merch. <laughs> I decided to film this outfit outside of the Anthropology and Art Practices building, which if you saw the first clip with the missing plaque, it's because it used to be named Krober Hall, but we have since unnamed it. Given the context of Alfred Krober as an anthropologist, we decided to unname the building. It is now known as the Anthropology and Art Practices building. But anyways, yes, so this outfit, cute anthropology t-shirt, yellow skirt, a little bit of a collar sticking out underneath. I thought that this would be a fun, and comfortable outfit to wear to anthropology club meetings and hanging out with my friends in the club. The t-shirt I obviously got from the UC Berkeley anthropology department and then the skirt is from Hearts and Found on Etsy which I will link in the description below. Before we continue, I have to apologize. Some of these clips are not the best quality. My camera died, so we had to switch to using an iPhone to film. And we also didn't get all the clips that I meant to get for some of the outfits, but I still wanted to put the video together, so just bear with me. So this next outfit is something that I would wear either going to lecture or maybe studying in the library. It's just a knit t-shirt with a vintage Pendleton pleated skirt. I paired this with my favorite pair of brown Oxfords because I thought that they would go really well with my Eco Suzy bag, which gives that perfect touch of vintage flair. I feel like this outfit is very quintessential Katie's vintage style. It's mostly vintage inspired with that vintage flair, but it's still very comfortable and easy to wear day to day. So I decided to film this one outside the library because like I said, it's something that I would wear to campus if I'm going to lecture or I'm trying to study at the library, anything that you would be doing as a college student. For this outfit, almost everything is from ThreadUp, actually. The t-shirt, the Pendleton skirt, and the shoes are all from ThreadUp, and then the bag, again, is from EcoSuzy, and I will leave a link to those in the description below. Basically, anything I can link for my outfits, I will put in the description. This next outfit is something that I would wear getting coffee with friends. So because the Bay Area is, well, the Bay Area, it can both be really hot and actually pretty cold. So what I'm wearing in this outfit is a simple cream t-shirt with a vintage pinafore style dress and I'm wearing my navy light coat over all of that. Again, I'm wearing my brown Oxfords, and I have this purse that is also from EcoSuzy, which I thought was just the perfect addition to this entire outfit. I'm also wearing my grandmother's watch from the 20s because I thought it added that perfect little touch of sophistication for getting coffee in the morning with my friends. For this outfit, the cream top is a hand-me-down from my mother. The pinafore style dress is actually from one of the vintage stores I follow on Instagram. The bag, again, is from EcoSuzy, and then the coat is from ThreadUp. And uh, maybe a fun story about this outfit, we were sitting there filming. I was in kind of a bad mood, actually. I was having a bit of a rough day, and my camera battery died, and I was like, it's okay, we'll use our phones to get the rest of the clips. And as I like go to like film the next clip, my hand goes like this and I knock the coffee off the table all over myself. So yeah, that was a fun one to film. Basically filming this video was a little bit cursed, but I think the outfits came out cute anyways. And then the 
last outfit, which I think is the funnest outfit. Is that a word? Funnest? And then the last outfit, which I think is the most fun outfit, is something that I would wear for like a game day. <laughs> are at the big football stadium on campus and I decided to wear my vintage Levi's and pair that with a UC Berkeley rugby polo shirt. I found this shirt after one of the first times that I visited campus after getting accepted to UC Berkeley so it holds a little bit of a special place in my heart and I think that it is a perfect outfit for a game day paired with these pigtails because like I said the weather in Berkeley can be a little bit weird so it's perfect for like being comfortable and having a fun time watching football which I don't think is a sentence I ever thought would come out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm not much of a sports person, but I figure game days are part of the whole like college experience, so that's why I decided to put this outfit together. The rugby polo shirt in this outfit I actually got from a store that doesn't sell this shirt anymore, but if I can find a version of it online, I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then the pants are actually from Indigo Vintage, which is a vintage store here in Berkeley. So that is all that I have for you guys today. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more UC Berkeley and vintage related content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.